if you struggle with self-improvement, you struggle to bring up discipline, there are certain habits that you can't seem to quit, you keep falling back into them, then this is the video for you because I know exactly what your problem is. And I'm going to show it to you by making you have a look inside of yourself. Because the answer is inside of you. It's not coming out of my mouth. It's coming out of your soul. Okay? So take a look inside of yourself right now. Be honest. And tell me what you are feeling right now. And the way that you are thinking of the things that you do when it comes to self-improvement and your life, your lifestyle, essentially. Tell me, right now and on a daily basis, what do you think? Okay? What is your attitude towards the things that you do or should be doing? If you wake up in the morning, do you think, Ah, yeah, I feel kind of hyped. I can't wait to get to work right now because, you know, I'm working to get a promotion and yeah, I really want that promotion or I have my own business and I have set some goals and I'm really, I can't wait to make some progress and work towards these things. Do you think, oh man, I am so fucking glad that I quit porn because I feel so energized right now and tonight I'm gonna have sex with this girl and it's going to be the best sex ever and if I would have still been a porn addict the sex wouldn't have been as good and I might have not even had this fucking girl so oh my, I, I'm so happy that I'm not watching porn anymore do you think oh I can't wait to go to the gym I'm so happy that I go to the gym because I look good now when I look at myself in the mirror, I see a body that I'm proud of, so I can't wait to go to the fucking gym. And yeah, sure, maybe there are days where you don't feel like it, but generally speaking, I love going to the gym. Is that what you think? Most of the time? Or do you spend a lot of time thinking, fuck me. I have to go work again. Fuck me, I have to bring up discipline to do this task. Oh. And oh, I feel like watching some porn right now because I sure am horny. But yeah, hey, uh, no fap, right guys? So I'm not allowed to watch porn, right? I'm not allowed to watch the porn because it's bad for me. And you're not, not al allowed to do the bad things if you're on self-improvement, right, guys? And yeah, I guess I guess I should go to the gym. Uh, Which one is it? And I'm sure it might vary a little bit. And you might sometimes have a positive attitude. And there might be some of these things that you really love doing. Like, for example, maybe you love going to the gym. But if you spend a lot of time thinking negatively about most of these things that you do, most of these self-improvement things, then that is your answer right there. Exactly that is the reason why self-improvement isn't working for you why you struggle to bring up discipline and why you keep falling back into your old habits. You have not become the person that you want to be. You are acting like the person that you want to be. But deep down, there is still your old self that is trying to crawl out all the time. And so you try to do the good habits, you try to quit the bad habits, you try to do no fab for a couple of weeks. But then after a couple of weeks, your true self is screaming to get out and, and eventually pff, your true self bursts out and you relapse. You try to act like you work hard, you're motivated and disciplined, but your true self isn't. 
Your true self's fucking lazy, right? <laughs> and so you force yourself to work hard for a while, but all the time when you're for forcing yourself to work hard, you just think, ah, oh, man, I can't wait till I can play some video games again. Can't wait till the weekend hits. But oh no, I was not allowed to play video games, fuck. So I guess I'm just gonna have to work hard. And then when I'm done working, I'll just, I don't know what. I'll just go to the gym and then stare in front of myself because, you know, all my hobbies are bad habits now and I'm not allowed to do them anymore, right? This is the reason why so many people struggle. They have been granted a rule book of rules to follow, but they have never really learned to become the person that actually likes their new lifestyle. They don't actually like their new lifestyle. They're just kind of following the lifestyle because they think that this is what you're supposed to do and that this is what makes you happy. But this is the problem. The lifestyle can make you happy. It's supposed to make you happy. But if you haven't really found that out yourself, if you haven't taken the time to build yourself up and truly become that person, then the lifestyle doesn't actually make you happy. And it's just a rule book where you're not allowed to do the things that you think are fun anymore. And you're just supposed to force yourself to work hard all the time. And obviously that's going to make you feel miserable. You're going to struggle to do this and you're going to fall back into your old habits all the time. That's why. Now, let me tell you a little story to help you to understand how to actually become that person that can do it and that has fun doing it, that is truly happy changing his lifestyle. You have probably been watching self-improvement YouTubers, right? Well, I'm pretty sure that you have because that's the whole point of this video. That's what we're talking about right now. You've probably been watching YouTubers like me or Hamza who claim to be the people that you would like to be. They truly have underwent a change in their life. They have improved themselves and they are now have habits that you aspire to also have. This is the thing that you have to understand about these people. A lot of these people aren't lying. Some of them might be, but I'd like to believe that I am not lying. And I also think that Hamza is probably not lying. I truly believe that Hamza is someone that does work hard and that does enjoy not watching porn all the time and not having the bad habits all the time. I truly believe that. But this is the thing that you have to understand. People like that who have truly made it didn't just watch some YouTube videos and then thought, oh, yeah, this self-improvement stuff makes sense. I guess I'm going to have to follow these rules now. It's not how it went. Self-improvement takes time. It takes time and it's usually a gradual process. You cannot just sort of force yourself into self-improvement. Now, I cannot really speak for Hamza because I'm not Hamza, but I can speak for myself and I can speak for what I think roughly happened to Hamza. So I think that Hamza, like I said, wasn't a guy who just watched some YouTube videos and then started following some rules. I think that Hamza was a guy who sort of underwent a process himself. I think that Hamza was a young guy who wasn't that happy with certain aspects of his life and then decided to make a change. And it probably started with girls. Probably started off as Hamza as a teenager or like in his late teens, thinking, man, I'm a loser. I'm not getting any action with the ladies. So he started hitting the gym. He started looking up some pickup artism because, you know, 10 years ago, pickup artism still existed and it hadn't been completely replaced by the, the black belt philosophy. <laughs> so he probably looked up some pickup artism and then he went out with his friends to the club 
and he picked up some girls and he, he learned how to talk to girls and he had sex with girls and he felt fucking amazing about it. Because as superficial as it might sound to just chase pussy, go to the gym and chase pussy, if you are used to not getting any action with girls, you feel like a loser and then suddenly you get a better body and then you have sex with real girls and girls like you, you feel on top of the fucking world. Trust me, because I've went through the same process. <laughs> Unironically, superficial motivation and just going to the gym and chasing pussy can be one of the greatest feelings in the world if you come from that pl place where you've never had that. And so then as you start to superficially chase pussy, you suddenly start to think, well, not suddenly, but more like gradually, you start to think, hey, maybe there's more to life than, ch than chasing pussy. So maybe Hamza started his own business. He tried some things. He tried selling some things online. He started working hard. And then as you start working hard, you sort of accidentally discover other things. You sort of accidentally discover that if you haven't watched any porn for a couple of weeks, you might feel more motivated. And you think, hey, wait a second, I haven't watched any porn for a couple of weeks. Whew, I feel energetic, I feel hyped, I feel motivated. This is great. And whenever I do watch porn every day, I feel kind of eh. Uh, my productivity is kind of lower. And I just had sex with Rebecca last night after I had watched any porn for two weeks and it was the best fucking sex of my life. So yeah, <laughs> this no, no porn thing is absolutely amazing. I definitely am not going to watch any porn. And then like the next day comes and you feel kind of horny and you feel like watching porn, but then instantly your mind goes like, oh, wait a second, wait a second. I kind of feel like watching some porn right now but if I don't watch porn, I feel way more, I feel way better. I can work harder and I'm going to have like super amazing sex with Rebecca again coming weekend. So I'm definitely not going to watch porn. You sort of discover these things by accident. And because you discover these things by accident in a positive way, you now actually have positive motivation to do the things. There is a reason for you to do them. Whereas if you are a viewer of the YouTube videos and you haven't went through this process yourself, you don't have that positive motivation at all. It's just a set of rules that you have been given and you have never really experienced why these things are good for you and why these things are so great. It's a rule that you have to follow because no fab and because the people tell me that porn is bad for me. So therefore I have to quit porn. But deep down, it's a very negative thing for you because fapping to porn was your source of pleasure. And you don't actually truly know what it is like to feel better and to feel more motivated to work hard. You don't actually know what it feels like to consistently work hard on something and feel the difference between watching porn or not watching porn. You don't actually know what, it like, what it's like to have amazing sex with real people when you haven't watched any porn or you haven't experienced the struggles of trying to have sex with someone when you are a porn addict and not being able to get your dick up, right? Because that's a very motivating thing. If you experience that a couple of times, then you sure as hell are motivated to not watch porn again. But a lot of people haven't, have never experienced that. And so self-improvement is just this rule book to them where you're not allowed to do the things that are fun to you anymore. Self-improvement becomes this cult to you that doesn't actually make you feel better, 
but it just kind of forces you to no longer do the things that you thought were fun, like fapping to porn and playing video games, and it forces you to work hard. <laughs> and so it obviously doesn't work because it's now an entirely negative thing for you, to you. And you kind of do it hoping that one day it will make you feel better, but it isn't really making you feel better yet. It isn't really working yet. It isn't really catching on. Maybe one thing is, go is catching on, like going to the gym. But most of these things, like trying to quit porn and trying to quit playing video games, they're not catching on. Because it works the other way around. You cannot just force yourself to quit playing video games and then expect to, to, to magically turn into some kind of a super disciplined, hardworking entrepreneur. It never works that way. I guarantee you there isn't a single hardworking, disciplined entrepreneur on this planet who was a loser and then forced himself to quit playing video games and then became a disciplined entrepreneur. It always works the other way around. They make a decision or they sort of slowly evolve into someone that has a goal, that has a mission. You want to start your own business. You start your own business and then you start working. And then as you start working on that business, you sort of slowly discover for yourself, hey, wait a second. If I don't play video games all the time, I have more time to work on my own business and I'm not numbing my dopamine system. So I feel more motivated and I feel a lot better. <laughs> Guess I'm not going to play video games again, or at least not that much. Not playing video games is a positive thing to them. And to you, not playing video games is not a positive thing. It's a negative thing because you don't have that positive thing to work towards yet. It's just a rule. It's just a fucking rule that Hamza told you, oh, don't play video games, don't watch porn. But deep down, you don't really, really have a reason to stop playing the video games or stop watching porn. You need that reason. Self-improvement is something that takes time. It is something where you should actually build your life up and it shouldn't be this set of rules that you can just follow blindly. Because as long as it is a set of rules to you, you will always fall back into your old habits. Always. I know there are a lot of positive comments on Hamza's videos. Everyone's saying, oh wow, this is amazing. This guy changed my life. And I'm not trying to bring down Hamza, really. I think he's doing a great job. And I don't even think that this is Hamza's fault. I don't think Hamza personally is doing anything weird or wrong. But I guarantee you that most of these guys who place a positive comment, who say, wow, Hamza changed my life now that I have these new habits, this set of rules. Most of this guy, these guys, for them, it's only a temporary thing. It's a phase. Self-improvement is a phase to them and it's not really something that truly changes their life in the long term. They follow the rules for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, some of them maybe even a couple of years, but I think most of them a couple of months and then they're all happy and they place the positive comments saying, wow, Hamza saved my life because now I don't play video games again. But then after a couple of months, the true self that's deep down inside it pops out and oh, what a surprise, guys. I relapsed. I relapsed to porn and I'm playing video games again. And I struggled to bring up discipline to work hard on my own business. So this is my advice to you. Stop worrying about self-improvement. Don't view it as a set of rules. You don't have to quit porn. You don't have to quit playing video games. You don't have to do anything. Self-improvement is supposed to actually help you to create a better life. Self-improvement isn't this cult where you're not allowed to have fun anymore. The whole point is to have more fun, more fun in life because you want to have a better life, right? The reason you quit porn is not because fun, fun is bad and you're not allowed to have fun. No, the reason you quit porn is because when you quit porn, you have more fun having sex with real people and having that energy and being motivated and working hard. 
life becomes more fun when you quit porn. So take a step back. Stop obsessing over self-improvement. And start to view self-improvement as a tool that can help you to feel better and achieve what you want. If you don't have a reason to quit playing video games right now, don't quit playing video games. If you're a 16 year old kid and you have no idea what you want in life and you have no plans to start your own business right now, then it is absolutely fine to play some video games. <laughs> you don't need to quit playing video games if you're a 16 year old kid and you have nothing to work towards. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous when you think about it, right? I mean, if you are 16 and you have amazing ambitions and you do have a plan, great. That's when you want to play, quit playing video games. But the thing is, it kind of will come automatically to you. If you have... Shit, the laundry just started. Oh. Okay, I turned off the laundry machine just for five minutes to finish this video and then I'll continue doing laundry. Where was I? Right. If you are 16 and you do have a plan, you have some kind of an ambition and you have an actual plan of a business that you're, you're working on, right? Then you might want to quit playing video games. But the thing is that even then, you probably don't have to worry that much about quitting playing video games because it sort of comes automatically to you. When you become very passionate to work on your business and you have a goal in mind, you kind of automatically not want to waste too much time playing the video games. And so you, you kind of never really have to worry about these things. The real way to become the person that has better habits and doesn't play video games and watches porn all the time isn't to worry about quitting porn and quitting video games, ironically. It's about just building yourself up and experiencing life in a more positive way. So take a step back. That would be my advice to you. Take a step back. Take a moment to think about what you truly want in life. Why? Why is it that you want to improve yourself? What is it about you that you want to change. Look towards the future, look ahead, look up to the goals, the ambitions that you have, and then just start moving towards these things. And along the way, discover for yourself why quitting video games and quitting porn makes you feel better. And as long as you don't have a single reason to quit playing video games, don't quit playing video games. Just start going to the gym. Start going to the gym and just enjoy going to the gym. And don't worry about the video games. Enjoy going to the gym. If you have plans to start your own business, go ahead. Start your own business and have some fun. Have some fun going to the gym and starting your own business. And don't worry about quitting the video games right now. Go out. Talk to girls and have some fun. I know that it sounds uncomfortable at first, but trust me, once you break that comfort bubble, it's insanely fun. Have some fun. Go to the gym, talk to some girls, start your own business, whatever it is that you feel like doing, that you truly want. Because there's probably something that you want right now, right? You're tired of the body that you have right now. You're tired of the fact that you're a virgin. You're tired of the fact that you're lazy and poor. There is something else that you want. Start climbing towards that thing that you want. Have some fun while doing it. Do not worry about the rules. And then along the way, you will slowly discover for yourself why some people ever came up with these rules. And then they will become your rules. And not my rules or Hamza's rules that you have to follow. No, but they will become your rules because you have truly discovered why these things make you feel better. They are now a positive thing to you instead of a negative 